AITA for making my 15-year-old daughter get a job to pay for our dog's vet bills? I have three daughters. Phoebe, 19. Allie, 18. And Janie, 15. We also have a two-year-old Chihuahua. Chihuahua Wiener Dog Mix. Pebble. We were in the middle of a heat wave two weeks ago with temperatures hitting 107. Small dogs are more sensitive to heat so we don't let him go to the backyard for long periods of time and the deck is off limits because there's no shade on the deck. The problem is Pebble loves the deck because he can watch the cars. People walking on the trail behind our house. And he can see our neighbor's chickens. Janie doesn't have first period and doesn't leave for school until 10 a few days a week. Both Allie and Phoebe leave between 99 to 30 so it's Janie's responsibility to make sure Pebble is inside. The fans are on. And he has water. Two weeks ago in the worst of the heat wave, Pebble was crying at the deck door. Janie got annoyed and let him go on the deck. Then she left for school and forgot him on the deck. Allie came home a few hours later and started looking for Pebble. She found him passed out on the deck and called me sobbing. I left work early. Took him to the emergency vet. They treated him for heat stroke. He had to stay at the vet for a few days and Allie was inconsolable while he was gone. She was constantly crying. She wouldn't eat or leave her room. And she had a panic attack every time the phone rang because she was terrified that it was the vet. Telling us that Pebble was gone. Pebble made a full recovery but now we have an expensive vet bill and Allie still has extreme anxiety around losing Pebble. Janie's upset because Allie hasn't spoken to her since she forgot Pebble on the deck and Phoebe rarely speaks to her and doesn't hang out with her anymore. Janie was upset about Pebble when he was in the vet but now she's very nonchalant about what happened because he's fine. My husband and I have been talking about what to do with Janie. We decided on making her get a job to pay for Pebble's vet expenses. Close to $2,000 after insurance. Janie's very upset about it because she has to quit swim team to get a job and says that we're ruining her life over a mistake. Now I'm starting to wonder if I'm the asshole for making her quit swim team to get a job. Also. She can't get a job after swim season because soccer season starts right after swim season. Then after soccer season she has softball season then summer training camps. Why not compromise with having her volunteer for animals that have been hurt, neglected when she's not actively participating in her sports, doing homework etc. She'll learn the hard way what happened behind the scenes because of her actions more so than she would paying $2,000. Hard to say if she's really nonchalant about the consequences of her mistake. I, personally, would make her volunteer at an animal shelter for a few months at least I understand that you're out of a lot of money for the vet bill but at 15. She's likely only going to get a lousy job with very little pay. She'll learn more about being responsible for another life and taking good care at a shelter. Nobody is an asshole. It was a tragic thing that happened due to your daughter's fault but her sister's shunning her and you being upset with her. Rightfully so. Seems enough if she does shelter work. Edited to add. Caring for animals at a shelter is more of a logical consequence for what she has done. Almost killed her, your dog. If you make her work it becomes about the money. We are ruining her life over a mistake, a mistake that nearly killed a family member. NTA. She knew the routine and knew better than to let the dog out onto the deck in the first place. It doesn't matter how annoying. He was you do not gamble your dog's safety for some peace. A $2,000 debt is overboard for a teen who doesn't even have a job offer. $2,000 is a huge debt for many adults to tackle. Find a way to punish her. Or find a way for her to repay or something. But make it doable for her age and circumstances.
I have four kids. The youngest is 14. Here are some questions. Are you sure she is nonchalant? Maybe she was scared and was protecting herself by trying not to think about it. And once everything was okay the relief helped. No one likes to know they messed up so bad. Instead of doubling down, try therapy. It may have been traumatic but she couldn't talk about it. Do you really expect 15 year olds to never forget something like this? This is within the realm of accidental. Teens are people. People make mistakes. Your teen might get in a car accident someday. Personally, I would ask the teen to contribute $300 towards the vet bill. I would offer to pay for extra chores at home where they could find other jobs. I would also talk to her about how she is feeling. Does she feel like everyone is mad at her? How does she feel when she sees the dog? Is it hard to be around the dog? Talk to her about her sister's feelings. Does she feel like her sister will be able to forgive her? How does she feel about taking care of the dog? Does it feel like this mistake will help her be more careful or does she feel angry and upset? Whenever she has a dog chore because she's angry that one little mistake could cause so much horrible stuff and now she just hates knowing she still has that responsibility. I would ask questions slowly and leave pauses. I would be gentle and make it safe. I would tell her that I know she tries so hard to be a responsible person and I see how hard she tries. I would hug her and tell her that I know she is a good person and I'm devastated for the dog and for the sister. But I'm devastated especially for her because it must have been really hard to find out it had happened because of her mistake and how hard it is to feel guilty about something that you can't go back and do over. I would talk about why people who love you are willing to hug you and forgive some quicker than others, but sometimes need time. Food for thought. A. Punishment should be productive. Meaning it should allow the person receiving the punishment to understand what they did that was wrong. Do you think that additional punishment that may have other negative consequences will be productive? Do you think your daughter understands the issue at hand? Will more punishment make her understand it any better? B. Punishment should remain in context. Meaning punishment shouldn't be enacted for punishment's sake. Has this happened before? Or was it a singular mistake? Was the action intentional or malicious? C. Punishment should not be based on your feelings about a situation. But be purposeful with outcomes. All that is to say. Are you punishing your daughter because you think she needs additional consequences due to her actions to help her understand the severity? Or are you punishing her because you're upset that you almost lost your dog? My guess as an internet stranger is that your daughter is also upset at the situation and the mistake she made. What would punishment do in this case? Especially punishment that impacts enriching activities. Parents make this mistake frequently. I'll take away the thing that you love because you made a mistake. Those things that we love are the things that help us define who we are. Especially as teenagers. The point. You don't want your daughter to be less. You want her to grow and be more. So if you need to punish, find punishments that enhance the person and don't take from who they are. I just want to comment as a parent. A lot of people on this board don't have kids and are very harsh on young people who are still fusing brain cells. I have kids in this age range and I also work with teens in this age range regularly. Yes. Janie made an awful mistake. People make mistakes. It wasn't made maliciously. You can literally go read on why younger teens are airheaded like this and poor with executive function. She is likely struggling with guilt and sadness. Especially since you're all treating her differently. I don't think you are wrong to have a consequence for Janie and even for her to earn money. But this consequence could affect so much of her life. Kids that are active and busy do better academically. Are her sports her social groups? That is often tied to mental health. This could affect her higher education path. 
When teenagers make mistakes, it's good to reassess the ability to be responsible. She's too airheaded to get herself off to school and be responsible for the dog. Maybe she needs to go to school early with her sisters and study during that time. It sounds to me like Allie might have some overarching anxiety. Janie isn't responsible for that so don't make that part of the punishment or discussion. If she regularly has panic attacks over the unexpected, you should get her treatment therapy. If your whole family is not healing and working toward positive relationships, maybe family therapy is in order. It doesn't seem like you are trying to work back toward fostering harmony in your home. If you really think Janie hates the dog and this error was made maliciously, well then, ignore. Info. Is there no way for her to work without quitting swim? That seems like a more reasonable solution. NTA. You're not ruining her life over a mistake. She let the dog out on the deck, which she knew she wasn't supposed to. Then she left the dog out there and could have killed him. Even if it was an accident. Accidents have serious consequences. It's not right that everyone else pays for her mistake. You parents financially. Her sister emotionally. Pebble physically. While she is living a fun life like nothing happened. And ta. It was a mistake. But it was a life. If it had been something like. Oh she left the TV on. She broke the vase while throwing a ball in the house. I are granddad's urn above the fireplace. Maybe you'd be the aw. But this is a life. And I think all humans need to know that a pet is a responsibility. You can't treat it. To use your own word. Nonchalant. I understand there isn't shade on the porch. But is there also no water? Maybe some kind of temporary shade needs to be put up during heat waves. Parenting is hard. What is too far with one child? Isn't far enough with the next. Your youngest gal may be acting nonchalant but I am betting some of that is acting. She made a mistake that had dire results. One of her sisters has some lasting trauma from this accident and your beloved Pebbles could have died. The vet bill is a bitter pill to swallow. I think some family talks should be done. Considering counseling. So feelings can be expressed and dealt with in a reasonable way. Let Janie have some say in how that vet bill can be paid. You might be surprised by the solutions Janie comes up with. Discuss those summer sports expenses and see if she wants to forego those to pay the bill. You might also want to think about having her pay one half the bill not the whole thing. She didn't intentionally leave pebbles out there. NTA but maybe remember to be delicate about this. She made a huge mistake and I don't think it's wrong for you to want her to take responsibility for that. I think maybe getting a job isn't a bad idea. But can she not pay you guys slowly over time and just work a few hours a week on the days she doesn't have practice? When I was in high school I went to practice after school and then worked after practice or on weekends to save for my car so I feel like it wouldn't be impossible to do. The reason I feel you should be delicate is I feel like I don't have all the information on her. Reaction. She was upset when he was at the vet but is all of a sudden fine? I just don't believe that. I feel like teenagers have a tendency to pretend to be nonchalant so that they don't have to deal with their emotions. Janie almost killed the family dog. I can probably guess that she's not as fine as she's maybe letting on. You know her better than I do but there's also a chance that she feels annoyed that her sister doesn't want to talk to her because she doesn't know how to handle the guilt of this situation and the reaction of you all being so mad. It sounds like a traumatizing thing for all of you to go through so I would just make sure that she's actually okay and not just repressing it all. Sit down and talk to her. Not about consequences but just make sure she's feeling okay and work together to find a solution. I'm glad your doggo is okay. You must have been very afraid getting that phone call. I'm glad you all got help when you did. 
soft YTA. She's 15. She's still developing. And at that age I was also hugely irresponsible. I'm fortunate that was never given the opportunity to screw up this badly. But from one screw up to the parent of one. I guarantee she feels terribly. She wasn't acting maliciously. She made a mistake. Emo the guilt would be punishment enough. My twin was probably 15-16 and while he was getting something from the oven. Our youngest brother ran over to the oven door and burned his forearms it was a mistake. Of course he felt awful. Should he have been more aware? Probably. Should he have immediately closed the oven door? Yes. Would it have been helpful to make him get a job to pay the air bills? No. He was just a kid himself and he made a mistake. NTA but I think better make sure you frame it as accountability. Not punishment. Also I'd try to defuse the situation between the sisters. Silent treatment is punishment and it's not good for Janie. Especially when she's still a child. Info how much is all the sports seasons and summer training costing? Also whose decision was it to get Pebble in the first place? Info. What is minimum wage near you? At $6 per hour. Federal min wage after taxes. It would take her about 333 hours to pay the bill. Assuming she works maybe 10 hours per week. That's a half year of consistent work. So probably several sports seasons. Would it be possible to wait until summer and have her get a job then? To avoid messing with extracurriculars? I guess Janie has a choice then. Doesn't she? Swimming or soccer and NTA. Your daughter needs to learn that her life isn't the only one with any value. Info. What's her take-home pay? How long does she have to work to pay off $2,000? This is all very American. Just everything. Multi-layered American. I'm going to let my American colleagues deal with this. NTA for making her pay the bill. But you probably need to be more flexible. Have her get a part-time job maybe on the weekends. Plus do additional chores to pay off the bills. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epicaracast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like share, and subscribe.